Welcome to week 13. This is the start of the second trimester. Your little plum is now about the size of a lemon. They measure 2.6 inches or 6.7 centimeters from the top of their head to their bottom, and they weigh 2.6 ounces or 73 grams this week. Your baby has more than doubled in size in the past three weeks. Their intestines, which started out as part of the umbilical cord, have found their new home in the abdominal cavity. Their tongue and their vocal cords are getting ready for their debut at birth. Their eyes are moving closer together, their ears are in place, and their fingerprints have formed. If you could see inside your belly, you would see veins and organs that are visible through your baby's skin. This week, little bones are beginning to form in your baby's arms and legs. They may be able to suck their thumb in the womb. And as your baby grows, so is the placenta, which right now weighs about an ounce. By the time you give birth, it will be about two pounds. At this point in your pregnancy, your doctor or midwife may be able to feel the top of your uterus. This is called your fundus. As your pregnancy progresses, your uterus will continue to grow and expand upwards. The second trimester, which spans weeks 13 to 27, tend to be the favorite period for a lot of expecting moms. Your belly's going to start showing, you'll be able to feel your baby kicking. At this point, morning sickness should be subsiding, and you've adjusted to a lot of the lifestyle changes to have a healthy pregnancy. Your moods and emotions should be evening out. Overall, you should feel like you have more energy. After all of the last trimester's internal changes, the second trimester brings a lot of physical changes. Some really great news this week is the risk of miscarriage is much lower than earlier in pregnancy. The second trimester is the perfect time to take advantage of feeling like you have more energy and to get things done. I know it can be overwhelming to think about everything you need to do to prep for birth and prep for having a newborn. By knocking out some big items in the second trimester, you can set yourself up to relax and be more prepared in the final months before your baby arrives. From this point forward, you can expect to gain around one pound per week. That's assuming that you started underweight or at a normal weight. It's recommended that you gain a half a pound a week if you're overweight or obese. Some expecting mothers and care providers may avoid vaccines in the first trimester, just because that period is so critical to development. If you declined the flu or the COVID-19 vaccine in the first trimester, it's likely that your doctor or midwife is going to offer or suggest those vaccines in the second trimester. A tip for dads and partners... The start of the second trimester is when a lot of couples decide to announce their pregnancy. So talk about this with your partner and get on the same page about when and how to make an announcement and share the news. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.